Hey everybody, it's the uh, Crypto Anarchist here, and today I'm going to be talking about how Bitcoin Cash can gain 75% market dominance through the use of extension blocks and through the uh, application of an idea that was always central to what Bitcoin was meant to be in the first place. And this is some of the reason why Bitcoin Cash split from Bitcoin Segwit. Uh, and uh, the way that Bitcoin Cash can gain 75% market dominance is it can use extension blocks. Now what extension blocks are is they're just a way to send uh, Bitcoin Cash to a certain address and then on the Bitcoin Cash blockchain uh, the coins at that address can be spent at any time by any user uh, in this sort of extension block that you create but the extension block itself has rules so basically like if Bitcoin Cash if uh, you know if they want to add ZK snarks they can create extension blocks where you send Bitcoin to an address and then in this address those Bitcoin now can be transacted using you know ZK snark protocol rather than the Bitcoin protocol and the good thing about this is is that if you use extension blocks any sort of failure uh, uh, of the coins in that extension block they're completely localized to that extension block so with ZK snarks for something like Z Zcash, uh, there's no blockchain auditability, but if you use ZK Snarks with Bitcoin Cash, you send your Bitcoin Cash to an extension block, then you can use the ZK Snark protocol within that extension block, but you can have it as a rule that you can't withdraw more than was put in. That way, if there is some sort of bug where uh, coins are duplicated, uh, it doesn't affect the main chain. And so Bitcoin Cash might actually be able to add uh, every single privacy application and smart commerce application on the market for every single altcoin in existence. Okay, and the reason why uh, Bitcoin Cash can do this is because it has very big block sizes. So, uh, again, with these massive block sizes, you can build as much or as many uh, extension blocks as you want, and each one of these extension blocks. Uh, you know, it completely localizes the risk of the coins sent to those blocks. That way, you know, if the users want to use it, you know, they're not putting the rest of the network at risk by using this uh, protocol. They're only putting their own funds at risk. And again, this 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 would allow Bitcoin Cash to basically make every other coin on the market, including Ethereum. Uh, you know, all the privacy coins, I would make them all moot point. Uh, Bitcoin Cash has already added Cash Shuffle, so what's the point of having Dash if Bitcoin Cash has, you know, a better mixing algorithm and it does it for free? Uh, what's the point of using Dash if Bitcoin Cash can do it? And then it just has to do this for every single other application that is offered on the market right now. And so then, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, there's a couple big market plays that uh, Bitcoin Cash can really do. The question is, what um, applications should Bitcoin Cash offer? Well, I think they should offer all the um, privacy protocols. They already have Cash Shuffle, so that's basically Cash Shuffle is uh, it's better than CoinJoin, so it's more privacy, or it's better privacy than Dash. Um, they need to also add the zk Snark protocol extension blocks, and they need need to also add. Um, the zero coin protocol um, and then per potentially IP obfuscation um, but anyways if they can add all of these things then uh, Bitcoin Cash becomes the most privacy centric coin on the market and then uh, it can also again it can add the smart contracts so things like Ethereum like what's the point of using Ethereum if you can just use Bitcoin Cash but the, the one of the big uh, market plays that I think they should do is I think they should actually copy a, copy a centralized coin like Ripple because everyone's asking you know how's Ripple making money when they're just an application and technically speaking their currency isn't a cryptocurrency well what if Bitcoin Cash were to literally copy the Ripple application and just allow anyone to use the Ripple application on Bitcoin Cash through their smart contract system. Um, and, you know, that would completely negate the purpose of the Ripple cryptocurrency. Uh, and, you know, so I think that would be, there's, there's a lot of big things that uh, Bitcoin Cash can do to completely siphon the market from every altcoin in existence. And I don't see why it wouldn't try to do that. The one thing that I really like about Bitcoin Cash is Craig Wright, uh, one of the main guys behind it. He's actually actually super smart um, you know the guy might actually be Satoshi I don't know there's basically nobody in the uh, crypto univ universe who is uh, more knowledgeable than Craig Wright I'm gonna do a video on him later on 
Um, I always used to think he was a thief, but maybe he is Satoshi, who knows. But uh, Craig Wright really is pushing for Bitcoin Cash to be the only cryptocurrency to be used ever. Uh, and so, you know, this is actually his mindset is he's going to try to make cash do it all so that there's no reason to use anything else. He's really focusing on eliminating Ethereum as a competitor through the uh uh, reinstatement of the Bitcoin Cash op codes. Uh, again, they've already made many privacy coins useless because Bitcoin Cash now offers Coin Shuffle. Uh, if they also offer the ZK Snarks like Omri Sechet, the main developer behind the ABC wallet, wants, then they, you know, that'll make all the ZK Snark coins useless. Um, you know, Cash is really making some big plays right now, and nobody's really noticing it. And so that's why I still think it's a really good buy right now. The price is kind of low. You know, it was just hovering at basically you could get 10 Bitcoin cash for one Bitcoin and now it's changed to like you can get like you know six and a half Bitcoin cash for one Bitcoin so the price is still significantly higher than it was you know just a little bit ago but I think it's still got room to climb you know we obviously tested the waters at uh, you know five Bitcoin cash per Bitcoin uh, and it stayed there for quite a long time so I think it's going to return to there and even go the price of Bitcoin cash I think is even going to go higher and uh you know, the reason why, like, if, if you guys know a lot about the uh, history of Bitcoin and its creation, the creator of Bitcoin, his name was Satoshi Nakamoto, and uh, Satoshi is a Japanese name, and it means, like, ash, and basically, you know how names have, uh, you know, ancient meanings, the ancient meaning for Satoshi in Japan is, like, to be born from fire, uh, to rise through and be born from the ashes of a fire. Um, so the name Satoshi Nakamoto, a lot of people say it stands for central intelligence. It actually stands for uh, to be born from the ashes of central intelligence or to rise from the ashes of central intelligence. Uh, and so uh, the, the reason why I say this is because uh, Bitcoin Cash, it's actually trying to do this. It's basically trying to um, implode the entire market into itself uh, and so make all other coins useless and then become basically the dominant cryptocurrency with all applications that any user could want uh, and so that would completely you know ruin fiat crypto or not fiat crypto fiat systems or centralized cryptocurrencies and there'd be no purpose for anything other than bitcoin cash and uh, again the reason why I bring this up is because the main person main person sort of pushing this um, strategy of dominate the market is Craig Wright and you know maybe Craig Wright is Satoshi because everything he seems to do seems to be very similar to what Satoshi would do but uh, anyways I hope you enjoyed this video there will be more coming out soon